Stephen Escalazzi, thanks ever so much for joining us. Fantastic win against Surrey here at Radlett. Great to be back to winning ways. Yeah, brilliant. Um, the complete performance, I think, here. We set out to sort of make around 350 um, and defend. I think the side batting first has won now seven out of seven games at this ground, which is is strange considering it's such a difficult ground to defend. But I think the surface probably got worse and worse as it went on. Um, and I think we paced our innings brilliantly and, and we managed to put a lot of pressure on them with the ball. Always nice to get one over our London rivals, Surrey, despite the fact that we were playing here in Hertfordshire. Um, a word for them, I guess, pretty tough. 17, I think 17 call-ups to the 100 in the England Lions. Always going to be tough coming here against a side that's got two internationals in it, in, in Peter and Umesh, and, and a side that are playing well. Yeah, absolutely. You sort of get punished for having such strength and depth at your club, but I guess a credit to them that they can still put out a really competitive side. I mean, at one stage, yeah, it looked like we were going to make 280, 300, and I think that would have been a really difficult score to defend. So, yeah, we might not have lost as many players, so we know this competition for us is, is something that we can really make a good fist of, um, and I'd say so far we're doing just that. I'll come on to talk about some bloke that's making it with a bat in the moment, but uh, prior to that, Umesh Yadav um, really stepping up, Pfeiffer up in Durham uh, to see us to a comprehensive victory up there. Another great performance with the ball today. He really is stepping up and showing his class. Yeah, Umesh is world class, um, and he's shown that for about ten years now. You don't play at that level for a team like India um, unless you have, you know, immense quality. So he brings so much to the group. He's such a lovely person. Um, and I would say, actually, up until this one-day competition, he probably deserved another 10 or 15 wickets, considering how well he's bowled um, on some pretty good pitches. So he's running so hard. It's great to see him getting his rewards now. And, uh, yeah, I'm in awe watching some of the deliveries he bowls. Fantastic. Also good to see others stepping up. Obviously, we've got Helmy and Rojo both away with the 100 franchises. Um, great to see Toby Greatwood coming in, grabbing his opportunity, Martin getting some overs under his belt, and Ethan bowling as well as ever. Yeah, I guess that's the fantastic thing about this competition. Um, and we set out to make sure that anyone that steps on the field in first eleven cricket knows they're doing so because they're good enough to come in and, and influence performances and, and help the side win games of cricket. So, yeah, we knew these guys were good enough and it's fantastic that they can come in and get their opportunity. And I guess, you know, my challenge to them is to continue to put performances in that if it ever gets to a point where the 50 over comp is not run during the 100, that they can try and hold their spot when the big boys come back. On to your own form, Stephen, 140 plus up in Durham. Phenomenal 182 here today. Have you ever been in such great form? Uh, yeah, I'm, I guess not from a performance perspective um, in terms of the amount of runs. But I think, as I said, I've just enjoyed my cricket the last little while. I feel like I'm playing with a sense of freedom. I've, I guess I've got a bit of a point to prove being left out of the 100 and coming in. And I know the best way to you know, silence some critics or to either put my name in that hat is to come and win games of cricket for Middlesex and put in performances like I did today. So. With the games coming thick and fast, if you can you know, find yourself on the right side of the momentum, there's no reason why you can't keep putting in performances like Durham in here um, towards the end of the competition and you know, give me nothing, no greater pleasure than to keep doing this and keep winning games in Middlesex. You've obviously just batted for the best part of 45 overs out there. You raced to 100. I think you were three figures in about 30 overs. You then went through a bit of a quiet spell and then accelerated towards the end. How tough was it batting out there in that heat? Yeah, it was interesting. I think I've, the stat was I faced 11 balls out of 60 between 30 and 40, which is remarkable as the set batter. You know, but it was difficult. I just saw that was a bit up and down with some a bit of grip and a bit of hold. And, and if you bowled the right line and the right length, it was extremely difficult to score. I think just the value here is absolutely ridiculous. And, and what I've learned from playing a lot of my cricket here over the last 10 years is if you stick in long enough, you're going to get those two boundaries or three boundaries in two overs that you crave so dearly there. So. I guess I called on a lot of my experience today um, and I was lucky it paid off. Two wins from three now, Steve. We head up to Nottingham and then down to Taunton on Friday and Sunday. You must be heading there high in spirits and pretty hopeful we can build on that. Return back here for two home games at Radlett with at least another win under our belt. Yeah, absolutely. We spoke about even the Leicestershire game, we probably batted six out of ten. Um, and if we bat anywhere near our capabilities there, we, we finished that game in the 47th over. So, yeah, confidence is sky high and I think it should be with, with the experience, the quality and the young talent that we have, we should be going out to dominate every team in this competition. And we've showed the last two games that we can do just that. So, you know, rinse and repeat and go again. And obviously there's some tired bodies at this stage of the season. So it's about staying fresh mentally and going and trying to repeat the performances. Last word on that knock from you today, Steve. You beat Max's record set in 2019 for the highest ever list they scored by a Middletex batter. I think he got 166 down in Canterbury, 182 for yourself today. I guess he'll be buying the beers tonight, will he? 
Well, maybe the reason why everyone else was standing up and clapping and he was sitting down looking grumpy. <laughs> his heart sort of... Yeah, no, brilliant. Obviously, you know, amazing club and there's been some incredible, particularly white ball cricketers that have come through this club. So to be mixing it with those guys is phenomenal. Um, whether any of those guys got to bat on a scorched outfield like this, I'm not entirely sure, but I'll, I'll take it, yeah. And, you know, I still think there's more in the tank for me, I think, on another day. I could have gone a little bit harder a little bit early if we hadn't lost so many wickets and I guess the sky's the limit. So we're about pushing boundaries in there and getting better and better um, and I'd hope to go even better than that at some stage in this comp. Stevie, thanks for joining us. Amazing from yourself today. Fantastic team performance as well. All the good luck, uh, all the best luck with those two away games and we'll see you back here at Radlett in a week. Thanks,